mix-up at the movie theater. Yeah, Trace, kind of a movie mix-up. It's got a lot of parents seeing red. Some folks in Utah took their kids to this movie, High School Musical uh, 3, rated G, chock full of singing and dancing. Instead, on the big screen, this movie came up, Sex Drive, rated R for foul language, and in case you couldn't tell from the title, nudity. And pouring fuel on the fire, there's this steamy nude scene right at the top of the film. Erin Walker was in that theater with two of her kids. Erin, you go in, they roll the film. What happens next? Well, the preview started out a little racier than I would expect, so I already had my kids closing their eyes during the previews. But it didn't take long for Sex Drive to start playing, and within just two minutes, it became very vulgar and sexually explicit, so I grabbed my kids and I ran out. Did but it was not in time for them to see way more than their young age should have. And how old are they, Aaron? I had a four-year-old boy and a ten-year-old girl with me. Yikes. What were they saying? They, they were clearly, y'all knew that at the beginning of the film, boy, this isn't High School Musical 3. Well, unfortunately, the movie starts with a teenage boy who's instant messaging someone in the middle of the night. And so at first you're trying to figure out how this could apply because it was still a teenage boy. But the, the title for Sex Drive did not roll up until it got pretty nasty. Aye. And so we just, I just told them to close their eyes and, and tried to run out of there. But my, my daughter, who's 10, is old enough to be definitely affected by this, as was I, in fact. And so she said she just felt like she wanted to throw up. She was Aww. very surprised. And um, so I just ran and several other parents with me to try and notify the people in the theater that it was quite a serious mistake. Erin, what did the movie theater say? And, you know, do, is there any thought that this might have been done intentionally as a joke for all these families that came to see High School Musical 3 or that it was an honest mistake? I, I personally believe it was an honest mistake after speaking with the general manager. They did um, send a letter out at the end of the theater, gave us free passes and popcorn and, you know, things like that. Oh, I bet they did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he yeah. did... Um, say that they had, there had somehow been a mix-up, they were trying to figure out if it was computer done or yeah. part human error. Only one person watches half of the theaters, one person watches the other half in the projection room, and the projection person had the wrong information, and so thought it was fine, but they had an, you know, an influx of ticket requests, and were trying to add high school musicals, but Sex Drive had been playing all week in there. Oh, it had, I see. Uh, okay. So that's what happened. Wrong and but, theater. But it was disturbing because it, I know there are regulations that protect our children with the rating system, and it was it kind of broke my trust as a parent a little bit to have a movie theater Mess show up. that to my children unintentionally. A Aaron, we got to go. But did you get a chance to see High School Musical finally? Afterwards? We did. They fixed it, and we saw it, and the kids had fun. And the theater management is trying to correct it so that this won't ever happen again. That's good. So hopefully the High School Musical memories will wash out the other memories that uh, snuck into their little heads when they were in that wrong movie. Yeah. Aaron, thank you very much. Aaron Walker, thank you. Yeah, I'm like, what's well, not High School Musical? No. Hmm. Sometimes, you know, when you go to, to a, like a PG movie with your kids, you know, if you think it's going to be okay, sometimes it's not okay. So you walk in, you're like, hmm, was this a mistake? Yeah, and I haven't seen him, so if somebody was, a kid was texting in the Yeah, you movie, might I'd think say, it was the beginning of it. I would. you got to be it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you want your kids to care.